I'm Karen Friedman. Sometimes we convey the wrong message without even knowing it. Our nonverbal behavior and body language may not match our words, and that means we can unintentionally give off the wrong vibe or tone. Here are a few fixes. First, we've always been told that folding your arms across your chest or holding them behind your back like this gives the impression that you're closed or you're hiding something. True, it can, but it depends when you do it and in what kind of venue you do it. Research says that people who use gestures are perceived as more open, approachable, and energetic. Those who don't are sometimes characterized as stiff and cold with no real emotional connection to their message. There are a few things that you need to remember when it comes to the type of body language we're talking about. Crossing arms, clasping fingers, after you've been to a meeting for a while is really no big deal. People already know you. They've already formed an impression. Bigger rooms and bigger stages are a little bit different. The bigger the room, the more animated, the more gestures you need to use. Next, looking at the computer, your phone, or your watch, when someone is telling you something important to them, says that you're not fully present or listening. Instead, look them directly in the eye when they're talking. And finally, there must be a balance. If you want to exude a lot of energy and enthusiasm, then gesturing more can help you do that. But don't overdo it. Too much is distracting. So you want to keep your arms here, right around your waist, your elbows bent a little, just like mine are right here. And yes, you can move around a little bit, but not constantly. Always come back to center and look for opportunities to stand or sit still. Until next time, I'm Karen Friedman.